the MAG-19 Steelers Club Championship live here from Stage AE at Heinz Field. And we've got a lot of Steelers fans in here. Can y'all help me with the song? Here we go, Steelers, here we go. Pittsburgh's going to the Super Bowl. Here we go with James Devlin. <laughs> the kickoff return for the Steelers here. Once again, we talked about it, folks. It is salary cap here uh, these competitors playing with. They got to spend 850 uh, points on that. Uh, so you basically have to be a GM and a head coach. Pick your team. Uh, you got to be wise to learn and spend money in certain aspects, certain areas. And um, these guys have done a good job putting together ball clubs. You'll see Deliverance uh, has a good quarterback. You'll also see Lawrence as well. Uh, there's Deliverance. Went ahead and threw on the Steelers jacket. There's Lawrence. Born and raised in Pittsburgh. Lived here for 15 years, but now lives in San Marcos, Texas. The big former college football player. The tight end at Texas State. Six feet, six inches. Very well-spoken young man. He still calls me sir. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, but a uh, very likable guy right there on offense. You'll see him with the Dolphins. On defense, you'll see him use the Lions playbook uh, in that 3-3-5. Three, three, Got here on a Hail Mary on a last-second touchdown play uh, in the online final with eight seconds left, a 65-yard bomb. He was down by four and came back and won uh, that game. And you look on the other side, it is the defending champ. There is deliverance. Here's a young man, 20 Seven years of age, got his girlfriend in the audience. We saw her earlier during that first game between chaos and deliverance. He is a neighbor of Rico, lives in Naples, Florida. <laughs> Shout out to the 239. And the world just got a little smaller. <laughs> Shout out to the 732. <laughs> Scott Sislo, one of my high school buddies. He's in the building, lives in Charlotte now, the Panthers. I'm worldwide. Dude, everywhere we go, somebody that you went to high school with. Like, I mean, it's like you went to a high school with 100,000 people. It wasn't that big, was it? It's just that we had the, we were the definition of greatness, the standard <laughs> by which excellence is measured, and there are Vikings all over the country of ours doing great things. <laughs> we're in the ball game, second down and 11. Lawrence with the rock. He's got the white Steelers jerseys on, and there's Steve Smith Jr. You won't see any applause from these. Steelers fans here for Steve Smith Jr. That's for a senior, that's for sure. Big win by the Steelers last week against those uh, crab cake eating Ravens down there in Balmer. It's first down and 10 here for Lawrence. Here's a guy, first time under the lights, actually, second game now. See how he's going to respond, and now he's back to the being more wide open, Lawrence, that we talked about that we did not see against FMB. And hopefully that won't be too intentional. Let's see if he's able to go ahead and play that style of ball. First down and 10. Oh, high pointed by Will Ty. Great job by his tight end there. Bringing it down back into the gun bunch. Picks up about eight. I like what he's doing here. Lawrence opening it up. Not coming out with that running threat that he had with Marshawn Lentz last game. This is the true Lawrence that we're seeing here. Even more aggressive throwing that rock all over the field. We'll see if the veteran delivers. And that blitzing style defense. Deliverance in that 3 3 5 odd. We'll see if he can get to Aaron Rodgers. Got time to throw. You got B wide open. Now he's going to go. He had A as well. Toe drag swag, and it has brought in Aaron Rodgers. Hot start. 3 of 3, 61 yards. Will the first and goal, Rico. I told you, don't sleep on Lawrence. He's definitely looking tough on this first drive, but he needs to capitalize and get seven here. He can't afford to take three. Absolutely good point there. First and goal here, because that look, if you're gonna beat a champion, a veteran, that's the difference in ball game. Take the block. Oh, he had him a good spin there and Marshawn Lynch. How about that? Throw your Skittles in the air. I'm here so I don't get fined. Marshawn Lynch in the end zone, pinning the PAT. And it is up and it is good. And Lawrence, fresh out the shoot. With a 7-0 lead, he needed a score, and he got it. We'll see if he can keep it going. Well, he danced his way into the end zone right there. <laughs> he hasn't broken out any moves yet, but uh, that one is great for him and his morale. Now he feels like, okay, I just watched that man pull off the impossible in his last game. Maybe it's destiny. He won last year. He could have been a little nervous going into this one. But that opening drive, getting 7 on the board right there, definitely calms him down. Good point there, the Madden historian, Rico Williams. And there's your guy, your neighbor, down in the 239 in South, is that Southwest Florida, right? Yes, Southwest Florida. Naples, Florida. 
RSW is the airport you find. Regional Southwest. Regional Southwest. I hear they got some money down there in Naples. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of our senior citizens down there running around with some money. I know, I know <laughs> not what you're talking about. I know what you know what I'm talking about. I've been down there. <laughs> lived everywhere in Florida except the Southwest part. Lived in Orlando and Miami. Worked in both of those markets. Uh, on TV down there, but Naples, man, it is beautiful. Man. You just you get in the Naples and it smells like money. There is Coleman up the gut, picks up. Yeah, he got a first down. I was about to say, give him 10 and a half, 11 on that one. First and 10. Coleman with plenty of running room there. You gonna see? You think Deliverance gonna maybe you know take some air out of this thing and maybe start running it a little bit more? Right now, Deliverance is trying to make sure he gets in that end zone. You do not want to have Lawrence feeling like he can play with you. He was able to score rather easily. And you want to make sure that he knows, hey, I'm still the favorite to win this. You just happen to get lucky on that drive. <laughs> Whereas if you let him get that stop, he comes down, he's going to feel like, hey, this is my tournament to win. I'm supposed to be here. Deliverance, one of the best users in Madden, especially on defense. You just saw him there with Odell Beckham Jr. Went user route on that one and turned him up. Got the Steelers mascot in here. He's watching the Mad 19 Steelers Club Championship. Man, it's starting to get thick up in here and packed. Here at stage AE, right here at Heinz Field, ahead of Thursday night football between the Carolina Panthers, Keith Poundy, and your Pittsburgh Steelers. Here we go. Pull it past him. Hill, Tyreek Hill, brought down around the 15. McNabb, pretty good start, two of two, almost 50 yards already for McNabb. Did you see how fast Tyreek Hill was out of that catch? <laughs> he sped up, man. He, he should be the first 100 rate in that. I mean, really. No, well, Devin Hester. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, you Don't forget forget about him. Can't forget about Devin Hester from the U. Don't he was work. a bad dude, man. That's why I'm the historian. Yeah, that's why you are the historian. <laughs> Somebody's got to remember things. I think he's got the 99 club with Gronk and those guys. But, man, Tyreek Hill. Holy cow. Where did he go to school? Was it Oklahoma State? Is it Oklahoma State or Oregon State? One of the two, because I, I remember seeing Orange. That's a that's a Scott Cole question. Yeah, he knows I, where everybody went. Yeah, I think it was Oklahoma State. Ooh. That was a great pass. First and goal for Deliverance inside of the five, around the four. Now you're going to see Matt back in the gun. Hands it off to Coleman. Brought down around the one, one and a half. Second down and goal, Deliverance chewing up clock as well. And that's another thing that's kind of demoralizing. He's chewing up clock, picking up third downs, you know, five, six, seven yards a pop. Ohio. Those things, they Ohio. wear you out, man. Yeah, they, it definitely grinds on you. That's the worst feeling in Madden. But until he gets in that end zone, Lawrence has to feel good about himself right now. He, in the finals, you'll find more people will take their three. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get that half a stop right here. He just needs to buckle down for one more play. Deliverance, maybe a little shaky there on the stick right there. I thought he had a touchdown run, but it doesn't matter because Donovan now waltzes in, and we're almost even. Deliverance down by a point, pinning the PAT. Another long drive as we get down towards the end of the first quarter. 25 seconds left, and we are tied. Brand new at seven. Deliverance delivering there a touchdown to even up this ball game, Rico. And I was getting on Deliverance about his stick work or lack thereof earlier, <laughs> but that was uh, some nifty footwork to get in that end zone. It was. It was, yeah, because he actually lost like two yards on the previous play uh, with Coleman there. I thought he had, he had his blocker on that pitch, on that toss, and uh, decided to spin and, and lost a couple of yards. Good defense there by Lawrence, but ultimately Deliverance getting into the end zone. First down and 10 here. Could be the last play of the first quarter. 22 seconds left. Lawrence and Deliverance tied at seven. Lawrence and the white Steelers. Deliverance, home, dark, black Steelers jerseys. First down and 10. Rodgers back to throw plenty of time. Got to receive another dot. Right across the middle. Oh, wasn't able to hang on. Is that Rod Woodson laying the, the wood? <laughs> there? That was a heck of a hit. That separated him and that ball immediately. And really didn't go head hunting. Came up and uh, threw a nice little forearm shiver in his, in his chops right there, you know? Second down and 10 for Lawrence. Let's get closer towards the end of the first quarter. 16 seconds left. Going to flip the field here. Trips to the left. 
Got Will Talia tied in on the backhand side. Bunch tight. Anderson wide in motion. Aaron Rodgers back to throw. There's some pressure coming up the side. There's the corner route, and this time he does have Steve Smith Sr. It's a first down and 10 as the first quarter will wind down. We'll head into the second quarter here live from stage AE at Heinz Field. We've got a good one. Look at the skyline of Pittsburgh, man. And what a beautiful scene coming over here. You come across those mountains, and all of a sudden it just opens up. The Three Rivers, man. You know the Three Rivers? Yes. What are they? Austin, Doc. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Ohio, uh, uh, Allegheny, and Mahangahela, right? That, did I get it right, Stubbs fans? Is, is that right? Uh, okay, I got it right. I, I got lucky, man. That's no, called homework and preparation. <laughs> that is. Aaron Rodgers back to throw there. Almost fumbled, but does get it out. Second down and 10. With our geography lesson here right. near the Three Rivers of Pittsburgh. Three Rivers Back Stadium, in man. Back in the day, you had go, Riverfront, go. Three Rivers, those cookie cutter stadiums. Those are some bad stadiums, dude. <laughs> Just to be honest, those were awful stadiums. Odell Beckham Jr. across the middle. He's asking, what am I doing? And that's what I was wondering, too. He had that. But he was anticipating Being instead of hit. reacting. Exactly. And he made the moves a little too early. And he says, I'm more of a reaction player. So that's his true nature there. Uh, but I, I like the fact that he's coming out with some aggressiveness. Lawrence, once again, back in the gun. Man, he is living through the air. But this time he does give it to Marshawn Lynch on the left-hand side. Only picks up about one, maybe two. We call it second down and eight for Lawrence. Four minutes and 15 seconds left here in the second quarter of the championship game of the Mad 19 Steelers Club Championship. The winner going to Redwood City, San Francisco, Bay Area in January to represent the Steelers in the club championship. 700,000 bucks on the line. Rodgers can't take that sack there. Maybe the nerves a little bit starting to show for Lawrence finally. I don't know if it was the nerves getting to him or the defense getting to him. But either way, you can't have that happen right there. You're, you're, you're in this ball game. You're playing great. Now you have all this extra added pressure on yourself for third and 21. Knowing that deliverance will get the ball in the second half. It's off to the back of his mind. Here it comes the blitz. And there he is, Brown with the tackle and the sack. Your boy bringing the pressure off that left-hand side of the offense. Fourth down and 30, and how about that? From field goal position, possibly taking the lead to two negative plays back-to-back -back and punting back to deliverance, who could deliver a back-breaking drive here at the end of the second quarter and maybe getting the ball to start the third with a two-score lead. That is something that you, Lawrence, you have to guard against. You have to play some defense here. And that's what I was trying to tell you. He was going to have to play a perfect game in yep. order to win this. And getting that stop right then and there is not what you want to do right now, especially with him getting that ball back. you got to really make sure you buckle down here, try to get this stop, and at worst, you can only give up three. Second down and 12, loss of two there. Good defense by Lawrence. We'll see if he can buckle up that chin strap and bow his neck. Deliverance with the ball, back to throw. Pressure as a receiver. Got to complete McNabb so far. That's his tight end, Will Ty, 4 4 six, If six you're yards. Lawrence, you're not mad at this right no. here. Because if you can get this stop, maybe Deliverance might want to go for it on fourth. Maybe that'll get you right back in this game. This third down right here, you really need to lock in. Absolutely. You want to continue to apply the pressure on Deliverance. Don't give him anything. Brought some pressure. Oh, and he got the pressure that he needed right up the gut. Great job. Great pull rush there. Great job of coming. He brought five or six that time, and that worked in his favor. Now, if you're Deliverance, it's not an easy one. I mean, you're going to go for it, but you're sweating here a little bit. It's tough. I, he has to have a four-yard play that he knows is open. And it better be quick because you know Lawrence is about to bring that pressure. Yes. Actually, he does. Brings five, and he's got a receiver. Tyreek Hill work in the middle, and that's what he's been working on this entire drive. Wasn't able to get home on that one. It's completed to the Cheetah. First down and ten for deliverance. In pretty good shape here as we head towards the two-minute warning here. Live from Heinz Field, stage AE. 
Great facility here on the ground at Hines Field. Coleman, rush for four yards off the right-hand side, second down and six. Tick, 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 tick. We'll get down to the two-minute warning. And you can see the body language of deliverance right now. He has no plans on hiking that ball. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, you can see he's actually a little on tilt right now. He didn't even realize the clock situation. Right. You see him lining everything Tunnel up. Vision. All you have to do is look over and see the guy put the control down. Yeah. Good point there. Great job of providing uh, that color there. People can't see that at home. But look, here's a young man. He is locked in. you got to give him that. Just this second high final event. And there's Coleman, got some room on. He ran into his own guy. Once again, a little stick work, a little sticky. <laughs> there, a four. Um, and look, and Deliverance is showing it. He knew right there. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. Or bare minimum, probably a 40 or 50 yard run before he's hawked down, possibly. First down and 10 here. Under a minute 40 to play in the first half. Deliverance ends it off again to Coleman. Coleman, nine rushes, 27 yards. Should have about nine rushes and about 70 yards. A couple of runs out there that he left out on the field for deliverance. For Lawrence, you know, he talked about being a reaction player. Only concern sometimes pressing the wrong button. Hasn't had that issue. The issue right now is trying to come up with a way to slow down deliverance who's had the ball and has been moving up and down the field here uh, in the early going in this championship game, Rico. He needs to hold him to three. You cannot give up seven here if you plan on winning this game. With Deliverance getting that ball back in the second half, he cannot allow himself to be put in that position because his game is not set up to play from behind like that. Right. If he's down seven going into the half with Deliverance scoring again to 14 mm -hmm. in the second half, that's going to be too much to overcome. That will be. And knowing how Deliverance can just flat out take the air out of the ball, man, it's got to be frustrating to see that uh, in the NFL as well. Those good teams, man, they just get they get ahead. They're good front runs, and what a spin move by Hill. There's no way Hill gets caught. Almost, oh, and he dives in, hurdles into the end zone, and you can hear Deliverance. Oh, take my belt, challenge. Will it be accepted, though, by Lawrence? Because he's going to have an opportunity here with 28 seconds. Put something on the board, or you're going to be in a well of trouble. Down 14-7, potentially 21-7. If you come out of that half, and Deliverance feeling good right now, knowing that he's potentially, what, uh, 8 minutes and 28 seconds from return, or 10 minutes and 28 seconds from returning back to the club championships. What a hit. hit there. You heard that and you felt it. <laughs> and, and again, that also speaks to first time in the hot seat. You cannot allow him to take that hit there. Because if he gives that ball up at 25 seconds, you just give it away points yeah, and at that point. Yeah, you down three scores by the time you look up in the third quarter. Lawrence with the ball, only down seven. Still have a ball game. Plenty of time left. Has to make a play. Can't turn it over, though. He's got a receiver. Oh, can't hang on. Second down and 10. You got to be careful here when you throw the ball. I want to throw it deep or I want to throw it to, you know, wide open receivers uh, and, and, and into open spaces if I am going to throw the ball. I don't want to throw the ball with a guy draped all over and, and turn the ball over. And you couldn't be more right, Larry. Lawrence right now needs to make sure that he takes this into the half. Go wide. Go wide. No, and he went the other way. No, you've got to go. He's throwing it to Tyreek Hill. Oh, and that could be the difference in the game if he doesn't be careful here. And look, I agree with that. It was the wrong receiver, though. That's the wrong guy. you got to hit the deeper guy. And now you're seeing the nerves. first time. You're seeing the nerves. You're seeing the fact that Rico's rock solid pick is coming through once again. <laughs> Now, you have, if he has a five-second route, he can get three right here. Got to be quick. There it is. Get down. Done. He got it. I told you. High level. Play, and that's man. why. High level. He is who he is. Yeah, and you, you go back, and here's the field goal. And it's up, and it is center cut, and it is good. Deliverance goes into the break up 17-7. And we'll get the ball back. So he's got a two-score advantage and the ball. 
he and his girlfriend, they're thinking, Youngstown sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see her? She's like, wait, Redwood City, EA headquarters? <laughs> right. This is great. All right. Well, I mean, they're, they're coming from Naples, so I mean, it's all, everything's all good down in Naples. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You got to love it there. But it makes it a lot easier to play at home and to spend time in front of the game when you get to bring her to games like this, sure. when you get to bring her to the Super Bowl in Minnesota that they were at last year, when you get to bring her to Redwood City for the, the finals. Uh, as I like to tell my wife, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. First down and 10 for deliverance. And I, I go back to Lawrence. There's a, there's a run by Coleman. We'll give him about three on that one. I go back to Lawrence, and you think about it. He was like, the only concern I've got, I'm a PS4 player. You know, sometimes I'll press the wrong button. I wonder if he did on that throw there to basically give away three points. He hit the wrong receiver there. I'm, I'm, it's safe to say, I think he pretty much pressed the wrong button. Probably didn't help that I was screaming why. He saw it. He's like, yeah, that's what I got to go for. And he probably pressed the wrong button. He, no matter what he did, it, it was a result of nerves. Either he threw to the wrong guy <laughs> on purpose because he was nervous, mm -hmm. or he threw to the wrong guy by accident right. because he was nervous. Yeah, at this point, it really doesn't matter. Third down and five for deliverance. Can he keep the – oh, and he had the rush there. He got a receiver, and there is the user playmaker, deliverance. The first thing out of his mouth, he says, Larry, I'm the defending champ. I'm confident. I've been there and done that. And he says, I'm one of the best users in Madden, and he has shown it time in and time again. And it's not even defensively. It's the playmaker ability on offense that's kept him in this ball game and in this club championship. Because, like I said, the first game, he was outplayed for, what, 19 minutes and 50 seconds? But it didn't matter. Now, the question is, how much does Deliverance respect Lawrence's game? To me, it doesn't even seem like he's really starting to run clock yet. And he's up 10 with the ball approaching that. So I think once you get across midfield, I think he will probably throttle it down a little bit, if you will. Here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that pass got him over there, so that's what it was. So third down and nine, two runs back to back. Good defense by Lawrence. Hey, man, at this point, you got to throw up that, that fist, man, and raise it in there and say fourth down and get off the field. There's the sack. We still have a ball game, and that's all we want, Rico. We just want a competitive game here. Hold him to a field goal, get the ball back and score, maybe put some pressure uh, back on deliverance, you know? This is a great spot to have to be on the field if you're Lawrence. He almost has to go for it because he's in no man's land he right is. now. So It's a 60 yard field goal from there. Yeah, and he, has, he needs 15 for the first. So you know where the first down is. You can allow something underneath, make sure you make the hit. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't stop him here, you, you probably won't have, you won't get the ball back until the fourth quarter. Great defense there by Lawrence. Sue coming off the left-hand side of the defense, right-hand side of the offense, and he gets the stop that he needs. Hold on. It's not over. I know Deliverance is the favorite, but this young man, he came here to play. Now he's got the ball back. 240 left in the third quarter, only down 10. Aaron Rodgers back to throw. He's got B wide open, not enough time to throw the ball. Deliverance bringing some pressure and it worked that time he had B wide open would have been down by three points like that when you're looking at that heat it is so tough to look up mm. and see he's not even looking at his receivers yet he's trying to make sure that he has time to even get to his full drop uh, uh, you see what deliverance is doing aggressive defense not backing up you know only got one guy you know back playing defense he got B got to hit him a little quicker though he got A there it is and he's got Will Ty there if he can just pick up the pressure we've got a ball game this thing is going to come down to can you pick up the blitz of deliverance or can you not that's what it's going to come down to and he's doing a good job on that last one he had all day i like i, I like the bunch and running a guy right down the scene but you got to hit him quick and then bringing a dig right behind him you're going to stress the free safety but you need time that's the cat and mouse game that these two guys are going through all right now. Under two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Lawrence trying to get back in this thing. Got a receiver, high catch, aggressive, and it's hauled in by the cheetah. Tyreek Hill, I like that. You see that look on his face like, yeah, don't count me out right now, Rico and Larry. It ain't over. And Down by three. He's absolutely right. It is not over yet. That puts more pressure on deliverance. And right now, if you're Lawrence, 
you're thinking, okay, I'm literally in this, no matter what, I can hold him to three and still have a chance to take the lead on this next drive. You could not be in a better place Absolutely. for where you were coming into that half. So Lawrence will be kicking off to Deliverance here. One of the most exciting club championships. Oh, and there's the fumble! And he's got it, it's recovered. He's like, give me that! Give me that! Well, you got it, Lawrence. How about that? The underdog, and we've got some fans here. They're starting to tilt towards Lawrence. You know how we are as Americans. We like the old underdog. Rocky and all that good stuff, Rico Williams. I think this is a packed Steelers house, and they're cheering for the Steelers on both oh, sides. So, the <laughs> so anytime the Steelers make a good play, they're going crazy. <laughs> that is true. First down and 10. Got about an hour and a half left till kickoff. Between the Steelers and the Panthers Thursday night. He's going for broke. He's got X and he dropped it in the bucket. There's the cheetah and he flexed on him. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Let's go, man. Woo. We got a ball game. That's all I wanted, Rico Williams. We're getting it right now. And Lawrence, oh, Larry, back in front. 21 17. Uh oh. Don't call it a comeback. He's been playing Madden for, <laughs> for years. years. <laughs> wow. Now, here's going to be the question. How nervous is Deliverance right now? You had this game. You were up 10. <laughs> and now you notice you're he down four. Yes, like, he, you know what? he wanted no parts of that. I'm not going to let Madden be bad to me. <laughs> not again. Look at that intense look there from Lawrence on the left-hand side. Deliverance. Still feels like, look, I'm, I'm, I've got control of this thing a little bit here. I'm the defending champ. I know how to play. I'm about to tackle there. Is that prime time? Deion Sanders never made a tackle like that in his life. You are not going to be happy until that man <laughs> places a phone call in here. <laughs> he tried to take the high road, but he doesn't know the address. <laughs> prime time. He's still the greatest cornerback ever. I mean, he just, just, hey, he made business decisions. That's how that was. Second down and nine. But Deion Coleman, man, I'll ball. I'll take the call. Second down and nine, and he does pick up the first down there. No, didn't hold on to it. Deion Sanders bringing the wood. OBJ not able to hold on. Can make the spectacular catch. Can he make the catch in traffic? Deion laying the wood there for Lawrence. If he Third doesn't get nine, this, this could start to get ugly the yeah, other way. I don't know if it's going to get ugly, but it will be very interesting if he doesn't. Blitz picked up. Oh, oh, give me that. He yelled it again. How about Lawrence? This thing has turned on its head here at Stage AE at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'll yeah. I'll tell you what. If Lawrence can pull this thing out, he'll get the call. A call straight to San Francisco in January to represent now, that black and yellow. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Does Lawrence know how to close this game out? Right now, he's going to be up a touchdown. Oh, you got to go to the left-hand side. It was wide open. He's nervous because he he, he's that close right now. If he can go ahead and at least get three here, he knows he'll be up a touchdown. He'll be in the driver's seat that it's his game to lose. To if he can get a touchdown here... It's almost a Reynolds wrap. It's a two-score game right there. And he had Marshawn Lynch on the left-hand side. Bad read, didn't see it. Does keep possession, second down and nine. He knows it. He definitely understands that was a missed opportunity. Time running down here, 33 seconds left. Ball snap. Rodgers, oh, great pick up there. Got a receiver wide open. Steve Smith Sr. If he puts it on him, maybe he picks up another five or ten yards after the catch there. But great aggressive catch goes up and gets it. And I'm pretty sure he'll let the time wind down here. Take a deep breath, young man. You are five minutes away from potentially representing the black and yellow. Lawrence, 25 years of age. Born in Pittsburgh. Lived here for 15 years. Currently residing in San Marcos, Texas. The former college football player. That's why I'm rooting for him. I played in college, too. So I got to root for my guy, Texas State. Although if Texas State played Middle Tennessee, Lawrence, uh, you know I got to roll with my Blue Raiders, bro. First down and 10. 
for Lawrence. Fourth hey, quarter here of the Mad 19 Steelers Club Championship. Larry Ridley, the Madden historian. Rico Williams here. Stage AE, Heinz Field. You got to watch what you ask for because you just might get it. <laughs> did you hear Deliverance yell, take my belt earlier? He did. Yeah. Uh, he might come to regret those. Still time. Well, we're in Heinz Field, so at least if he has to eat his words, he can put a little ketchup on it <laughs> and make him taste a little bit better. Heinz Field, man. Tough place to play here. We'll see if the Panthers can keep hey, pounding. Hey, or will the Steelers? Here we go. Second down and 12. Plenty of time. Yeah, no one was open. Just takes off. Be careful. Don't want to let it go. Don't be third fall. down at about 10. Maybe call it 11 here. All right. If you're deliverance, you're talking to yourself right now. You're saying, look, this is the stop I need. Hold them here to three. I get the ball. I'm going to score. And then we can worry about that next drive. But you got to get off the field right here on third and 11. Third down and 11 for Lawrence, man. Uh, real quickly, man, we got some military personnel here inside of the building. Saw a couple of the guys when I was going to the uh, the restroom a little while ago. want to thank them for uh, our, their service. And uh, thanks for coming out and thanks for defending our country. Always good to see military uh, veterans and personnel here live here from Stage AE. Big shout out to those guys here in the uniform representing our country. Really thank you uh, for your service. Fourth down and four here. He's going to kick the field goal. Going to run off about 10 more seconds here on this play clock. Field goal will be up. It'll be from around, we'll call it, what do you want to call it, 27, 28 yards here? We'll call it 28 yards officially. Up, and it is good. Lawrence, just like that, 17-0 run, Mr. Rico Williams. But maybe if you get a touchdown there, you are that much closer to being the Steelers Club champion because now you're up two scores. 323, up two scores. I know. And you add that pressure. Mm -hmm. So now that that's, uh-oh, we're going to watch this kick return. You, you got to get out of bounds. <laughs> you, they got it. Okay. All for it. All right, here we go. This is the ending that we're all potentially waiting for anyway. We want to see, can Deliverance possibly score? And then what will happen if Lawrence gets the ball? Last opportunity for him. Whoa, whoa, Ooh, user hit stick. My goodness. Ohio, Ohio. That's why you got to buckle that chin strap, man. Second down and nine for Deliverance. Three minutes to play here. Time winding down. The defending Steelers champ. Down by touchdown, user Odell Beckham Jr. once again. And he's been making a lot of hay across the middle there with Odell Beckham Jr., that user playmaker, man, turning it upfield. Beckham with five catches over 100 yards today, Rico. Now, the question is, if Deliverance is able oh, oh, to get play. a score here, how does Lawrence handle that guap drive? That's what I want to see. I want to see it. Does he have what it takes to put that drive together? Or does he turn that ball Let's over go. quicker Let's than go. you can say? Terrible towel. <laughs> Got Coburn on the left hand side, brought down. Slowed up a little bit there. Yeah, he went to one of the juke moves instead of having stick work when you rely on the jukes. That's what Ohio. makes you do Ohio. things like that. Good call there, the Madden historian. Third down and six Ohio. for deliverance. Ohio. We'll see if that may have cost Ohio. him. I thought he could have picked up potentially, you know, four, five, six more yards there. Maybe pick up the first down. Third down and six. Got Coleman again, and Coleman taken down. Only picked up two. Two-minute warning. It'll be a fourth and about three and a half. We'll call it fourth and four coming up here. Fourth and three. What Deliverance didn't realize is he was on the short side of the field. He thought that was going to be there and he didn't have a chance to outrun him, but because of the field, how the field he was on, he couldn't do it. This is all it. This is it. This is it right, right here. here. Fourth down and three. Back to pass, and there he is. Tyreek Hill across the middle. We'll come back and maybe highlight that play right there if things turn out in Deliverance's favor. Now, if you're Lawrence, Ohio, when do you Ohio. start thinking about time left for you for your last drive? I'm okay right Ohio, now. Plenty Ohio. of time. You're okay right now. I don't even think about it until it gets over, uh, under a minute to play. And I'm okay if he even scores because you're going to get this opportunity that you wanted, Rico. Touchdown there by Deliverance. 
You're going to get that guap drive from Deliverance. Can he deliver? Pressure. Will the pipes burst? We're going to find out right now underneath these bright lights here at Stage AE at Heinz Field. Wow, this is everything you can here. ask for. The Steelers fans and everybody here at Stage AE has gotten a great show for this championship game. You're the thinking, we don't want it to be this close. We want this thing to be over going into the second quarter. Big Ben and AB up 28-0 on Cam. That's probably what they're thinking right now. You know, they don't want a, a close ball game tonight on Thursday Night Football. They're okay with the blowout. Start the engine. It's kind of cold outside anyway. Now, Lawrence needs to remember, he only needs three, and he has all the time in the world and three timeouts. There's no need to rush. Take your time, young man. First down and 10. Rodgers back to throw. He's got a receiver, and there he is, Odell Beckham Jr., playmaker. First time he's done that in a long time, and he just showed it. He has that tool in his arsenal. He has some tricks in the bag still that he has not pulled out yet. Now. That was a tough hit he just took, and that's one of those that you can worry about him laying it on the ground. Deliverance is going to need to lock up here. He might have to take a couple more chances. There's the run. Marshawn Lynch. That's a great block shit there, because if he'd have picked that block up, he was still going to be running. Second down and 11. I like the fact that he's being patient. He understands I don't have to be in a rush. I've got a full complement of timeouts. I've got the ball around midfield. This game is going to be won or lost on my offense. Under 45 seconds to play. Play clock down to five seconds. Motion to the right. Rodgers back to pass. Got X. Can he fit it in? And he does. Steve Oney dropped it. Wow. Would have been a big play there. Third down and 11. Starting to build pressure, building more. He has to be able to live with that because that could have been a pick easily Absolutely. as well. So right now, you live to play another day. Third down and 11. You got to think, maybe a first down here. You also got to look at the time. You don't want to give that ball back to Deliverance with anything left. Uh-oh. Got X. Did he go back to it? And he held on to it. Running the wrong way, but he holds on. Timeout if you're, if you're uh, Lawrence here. And he does take one. He's going to have the ball around the 37. No timeout, actually. He's... Okay. <laughs> He's going to run it and kick it. He's going to run it and kick it, yeah. yeah but still, I mean, you don't want to kick a 55 or a 60 yarder, do you? This is what happens when it's your first time yeah, there. Well, You're happy. Go, hey. Go, <laughs> you can't take him home, right? Not at all. Plus, once again, he had more room on the left hand side. He's missed a couple yeah, runs yeah. there. Don't hit for this. Like I said, where was the room at? The left -hand side. That's ball game. I think that just might do it. We are two, three seconds away from a potential upset here. Stage AE and Heinz Field. Does, Lawrence. Does Deliverance have a block? Uh oh. Ice, ice. And ice the kicker. How about Lawrence? Nobody was talking about this guy. Out of the four competitors, he was the one that had the least amount of press and least amount of love coming in. Takes a knee. Second down and 10. Let's go ahead and kick this field goal. Lawrence got here on a Hail Mary in the online final with eight seconds left through a 65-yard bomb to win the game. I don't understand this. We got three, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, Rico. He's avoiding getting iced. You, you but he's ice playing. You can only ice him the once, right? Yeah, he's playing with the clock. <laughs> he already got here, iced. <laughs> here we go. Third down and 10. Here we go. Field goal. It's going to be a 40 yarder. He I'll is call it 30, 38 yarder. He is incredibly nervous. Did you see him? But he yeah. nailed it. It is up. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Oh, my he gosh. He took too long. Oh, my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. He's going to cry in the car home. If he loses this game, <laughs> that's going to be a tough one. Wow. Deliverance has the horseshoe. And... <laughs> 
I don't know who's more upset, Lawrence or Larry, Larry. whose flight. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, man. Lawrence. Oh, you did me in. Okay. So who's more upset? Chaos for giving that kick <laughs> return up? Or Lawrence? That's you a could very see, good You one. didn't see his hands. He was so nervous. Yeah. He was over there fidgeting and then couldn't get it lined up. And then they timed that thing perfectly. That's a good question. Who, who would you? Oh, man. I think Chaos felt like he was supposed to win. So that might hurt a little bit more. Whereas Lawrence is still the you know, underdog. Yeah. You know? Like, I'll be back next year, sure. maybe. But once you get this close, once you get this far. I don't know, a blocked field goal or a kickoff return. I think the blocked field goal is probably less likely. <laughs> no, that kick return. <laughs> oh, he had a takes off with Donovan McNabb, slides and gets down, and deliverance. Oh, delivered another life here. Has the ball around midfield. Can he close out the young upstart, Lawrence? First down. Nice rush there of four yards. Second down and six for deliverance. Can he bring it home after getting a, a great block of a game-winning field goal? Boy, if you deliverance. You win both of these games. Man, you better go to that casino tonight. Bullet pass is complete to Tyreek Hill. Deliverance, I'm just giving you some advice, brother. Go to the casino soon as you leave here. Do not stop. Do not go past go. Just go to the casino and drop it all on black, man. <laughs> First down and 10 for Deliverance. Plenty of time left. But he needs seven. Again, he's relying on the spin button instead of just making the juke move or losing. He had a chance to get that one. Why? We have seen some questionable runs here by both players. Lawrence on the wrong hole at times. And an old deliverance with some spin moves. On the wrong button at times. Second down and 10 after that flag. Deliverance with the ball and a touchdown. And it's over. See what he can get on this, this first possession of overtime. Deliverance, man, whatever he did, how, how, however he's living, he's living right. He's got two of the most unlikeliest plays in the Madden Club Championship that we've seen today. This is still up for grabs. He needs to this make sure. This place is stunned right yep. now. It's quiet. You can hear pitch drop in here. But here's the thing. If you're Lawrence, you got to make sure you're holding the three. Throws it away, and he will get that opportunity. So now he's still in the game. He is still and in the now, game. And that's why Chaos is more upset than Lawrence is. Because he still has a chance. Mm -hmm. Field goal is up, and right down the center, enough leg. There he is. It's up, and it's good. Here comes Lawrence. He'll get his opportunity here. And look, of all the things that have happened to Lawrence today, down by 10, scores 17 straight, allow the game, tying touchdown, a winning field goal blocked. It's right here for him. It's right there still for the young upstart. What he needs to do is put everything behind him and just focus. It's one drive right now for everything. This is the reason why you stay up till 4 o'clock in the morning playing. This is the reason why you are friends with 4 million other guys playing labbing and working and trying to get right. There are so many people invested in him right now. He knows he's close. He just needs to finish. First down and 10. Lawrence back to pass. He's got Aaron Rodgers looking and he's oh, going wow. for broke. Does he have him? Oh, and it's knocked away. Went for the cheetah, Tyreek Hill, but prime time. Prime time. Deion Sanders back. And that's what prime time does. He doesn't make tackles. That's part of the business decision that he makes. Being able to cover any receiver that we've ever seen. Second down and 10 for Lawrence. 2.55 left in overtime here. 
of the final of the Madden 19 Steelers Club Championship. Lawrence in the gun. Back to pass. We got X and B. They're like, they were just oh, oh. picked off. Ball game. Walk off. INT. And that will do it. Did you see his receivers? That was a tough one. Oh, man. He didn't. Oh. Yeah, that that's a tough build. That's, that, that that's definitely a tough does. one. That's a tough one. The, the only thing you really can do there, man, you, uh, you, oh boy. you gotta throw that one away. You gotta, you gotta throw that one away. That's a tough one. So you see Lawrence there, good sportsmanship, and it will be Deliverance, uh, delivering another club championship. The Steelers club champion again, 2018, he repeats in 2019. That rabbit foot, that horseshoe, whatever it is, pixie dust. He's got to go across the street to the casino, man, and test his luck, press his luck. That's what he needs to do. I remember when me making the rock-solid pick was considered a curse. Now I'm not giving him good luck. That, Have you that ever was, seen two plays, that two was games a, like that? That was a great game. You got to tip your hat to all, actually all four of these guys yes. who made it here. They fought through 512 people who entered into this. They're some of the best players in the world. And you know what? They put on a great show today. Everybody here got a chance to see Madden played at the highest level. That last game, the finals went down to overtime. As you can see, it's standing room only here. If only we're lucky enough to see the Panthers-Steelers game be as good as that last game was. I think we will. All right, we've got the champ. He is standing by. Let's uh, get ready to get it over to Skyler here in a second. I know he was asking for a terrible towel, and these hospitable Steelers fans, someone threw him a towel on the stage. So he's got it. We're standing by. Skyler Ruth is standing by with the Mad 19 Steelers Club champion, Deliverance. That's right. He is now the Steelers Club champion for the second year in a row. Deliverance, what's going through your, your mind? I mean, a win feels great, but two years in a row? I mean, man, I, at this point, I think I might really have ice in my veins. Um, man, you're talking about a kick return and then a blocked, a blocked kick to even keep it alive. Right now, I'm just so happy I was able to do this in front of the best fans in the National Football League, Pittsburgh Steelers. Back to back, I wanted, I'd said at the beginning of the year, I wanted to be back to back in Pittsburgh, and we did that, so. So he was telling me before today that he could play, you could have entered in any of the different teams' as competitions, but he wouldn't put on any other jersey and compete if it wasn't a Steelers jersey. How about that? So Steelers are your, uh, your favorite team, I'm sure. How do you feel about being in Pittsburgh? You know, it, it, this is just an amazing feeling being able to do this in Pittsburgh. And as far as playing for any other club, you could have put Skimbo, Dubby, Problem. You could have thrown them all in the Steelers. I'm still playing in the Steelers club because there is no other color I'm wearing besides black and gold. I bleed this. I bleed this. Congratulations. You are now the Madden 2019 Steelers Club champion. And now we'd like to present you your jersey. Let's get a big round of applause for Deliverance. And let's spin this around. Congratulations. Good stuff there, man. Black and yellow, black and yellow. The terrible towel that's waving here at stage AE. Deliverance, the Mad 19 Steelers Club champion again. He repeats back-to-back -back years. He'll head out to Redwood City in January, represent the Steelers. And you can see he'll be playing for his share of $700,000, the winner gets $100,000. He'll face other AFC North opponents, Ravens, Bengals, and Browns out there trying to get to the championship there. And the AFC North deliverance, man, he delivered when he needed to. He delivered the goods. Hey, you can say he was lucky all you want. It takes some skill and some preparation to be able to capitalize when you do and you are presented an opportunity. Yeah, he, he definitely had the ball bounce his way several <laughs> times today. But he never got down on himself. He never got himself mentally out of the game. He kept fighting, and he wound up walking away a winner. He is a winner. He gets the win over Lawrence. Congratulations to Lawrence and FMB and also K. Alce. Great crowd here at Stage A.E. Hinesville coming up next. We got the Steelers and Panthers. You can see that game here on Twitch. About an hour and 26 minutes. For Rico Williams, the Madden historian, I'm Larry Ridley. Congratulations once again to Deliverance, the Mad 19 Steelers Club champion, 
So long from Stage AE live here at Hinesville from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Good night from Hinesville. Here we go.